No matter how deep and dark of a hole you're in, you can come back from it and you can be the inspiration for other people. When I was 22 years old, my father, he took his own life after a, a long battle with Huntington's disease. Uh, he didn't come home that night. I started calling around and figuring out where he could have possibly been, so uh, I found him deceased in a hotel room. That broke me as a human being. I didn't think things could get worse after my dad passed away, but uh, I ended up losing his house. He left me. I started uh, escalating my opioid use. It got to a point where I was using something to the effect of 20, 30 a day. Spent six figures on cash, on, on pills. Uh, lost a girlfriend of three and a half years that I loved dearly at the time. And I lost everything that meant anything to me. That was one of the lowest points in my, in my life. Yeah, that was it for me. I knew I was better than my circumstances. I wanted, I wanted to live again. Getting off methadone, I tried a couple times to do it and I wasn't able to. But it wasn't until I set up a, something bigger than just getting off methadone as a goal, which was to ride a bike across Canada, produce and direct a documentary about the opioid crisis, and hopefully not die by getting hit by cars doing it. <laughs> so. Getting on a bike after eight years and riding a bike across Canada was incredible. I understood I had a unique knowledge base in having seven years of opioid experience and that I'd seen so much over the years that I wanted to go see what it was like across the rest of the country. I was tapering off of methadone while I was training. It's like walking around in a black and white world where the color starts slowly coming back to it, where that childlike wonder and, uh, that you lost when it came with the drugs uh, comes back into your life. There's thousands of people out there in the same position I was that feel hopeless, that, can't, that they feel they can't come back from it. And I wanted to show them that, no, you can. It is a, a responsibility I believe I have with the numbers being what they are to do my best at least to try to help. Evidence, engagement, impact. The Canadian Centre on Substance Use and Addiction. Knowledge that inspires.